What's up guys, DV Apps here. Today I'll be showing you how to make a logo for free using Canva.com. So Canva is a really simple to use website and it's a great alternative to Photoshop if you don't have the money to buy it. And also I'm going to be trying out full screen in Chrome. Let me know how you guys like it without full screen or with full screen. So first you just go to Canva.com and then click on sign up with Google or Facebook or you can sign up with your email. So I'll just sign up with Google and then now you just want to click on use custom dimensions and then for the width just type in 500 and for the height also 500 make sure that it's on pixels and then click on design for the layer you just want to make it the first one so just drag it on there and then now for the elements we can add like a photo first it's totally up to you how you want it if you want a photo if you just want it like a basic color so you can make it anything really I'll just search for abstract so they have loads of free images but most of them are paid so as you can see it's one US dollar. So I'll just look at some of the free ones. So once you've found a photo that you like just click on it and it will come up on the canvas. Now you can just resize it so just drag the arrows. Now if you don't like any of the free photos you can upload your own. So just go to uploads and you can upload your own photo. Now we just want to add some text to it so just go to text and then just choose a font that you like. So this one looks pretty good so just double click to edit it and then just type in whatever you want and there we go now we can change the color so just highlight it and then it'll come up with this and then from here you can just pick a color so i'll just choose like a blue now if you want to change the font just click on this so we'll have the font name here and from here you can choose any of these fonts but this one's all right for me so i'll just leave it at that and there we go that's our basic logo so if you want you could add some lines and stuff to it just go to elements and then lines and you can add any of these lines so this one looks pretty good i'll just add that and then make it smaller so there's loads of stuff you can add like shapes or frames illustrations anything that you want so this is just a basic example just so you can get used to it you can even add like a different color background if you want so there's loads of things that you can do so make sure you spend plenty of time on this because that's the first thing people look at and then now once you finish with it just click on download and then you just want to download it as a png and there we go it's downloaded so I'll just open it up and that's how it'll look like. That's all for this video make sure to like comment and subscribe. Let's see if you can hit 7 likes in this video. Thanks for watching until next time peace. Hey, 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 hey.